Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Windows 10 Extended Security Update feature, or ESU. So a lot of people are wondering why they are not getting this option, as you see here, to enroll in the Extended Security Updates program. So we're going to kind of go over the settings on this computer and see if we can figure it out. Alright, so I just did a new installation of Windows 10 22H2 and did all the updates I could. I have this option checked here. I did not install any optional updates. So this is Windows 10 Home uh, with a retail license logged in with a Microsoft account. Alright, so let's see what updates we have on this computer here. Alright, so you might want to pause the video and just kind of go through these and maybe compare them to what you have on your computer. So there are some you know, things going around about certain updates you need, but if you have a more recent update that supersedes it, you might not see that update in your list here because there were a couple that I read you need to have in order for this ESU to show up, but I do not have them here. And then I found out that if you have a newer update, it supersedes it and includes it, so you may not see that KV number. Right, then I just have a driver update here and a couple definition updates here for Microsoft Defender, which aren't going to apply, and one for .NET and the malicious software removal tool. So not a lot of updates on here. All right, so now let's go back home here, go to System, and About. So this is OS Build 19045.6332, Windows 10 Home 22H2, installed today. All right, so now we're going to show you a command you could run to see uh, what's going on with your computer here. All right, so here's the command here, uh, Registry Query. And there's two settings here. There's this ESU eligibility, which reflects whether your device is technically eligible for ESU. And then there's another one here for the result that gives you the uh, result of the evaluation, often used to explain why a device is or isn't eligible. And you have these various numbers here. All right, so we're going to run this command by copying it. So I'll put this in the description along with all this too. So just open a command prompt, doesn't need to be an admin command prompt, just paste it in there by right clicking, press enter. Alright, so you can see here for the first one we have a value of 2 which means eligible and then for the result we have a value of 1 which means success. So if you run this command and you get some of these other options here like, you know, like option 1 here saying you're not eligible or one of these options here saying it's a non-consumer edition when it actually is. You might have a problem with your key or licensing or something like that. Or if it's an Azure device, then that could be a problem as well. So if you run this, hopefully you'll have uh, the result of two here for this one, or even three after you enroll it. That will show up as three. And for this other one here, hopefully you'll have a result of one, because that's your best option there because a lot of these look like they're not going to be applicable. All right, so that's about all I could tell you for now, since this still seems to be kind of a mystery as to when this shows up for people. Like I said, let me go back to my updates here. I don't have a whole lot of updates installed on this one, but apparently I have the ones that are needed to get the job done. All right, so once again, I will leave this in the description so you can run this command, compare it against the uh, results here, and then you can take it from there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.